Hi everybody, I'm Patricia McNeely. How are you today? I hope you're doing well, but from what I hear out there, there's a lot of confusion going on. So what's going on now after the solstice? Okay, this energy is going to keep moving and pushing and pressurizing things. There's something else to be said, okay? What's up is down. Now, if you were to um, put that into a human context, what that means is what's up in the head, what's been up in the air, it's now down to earth. It's time to focus on you, as always. And this video is about unrequited love. Do you have unrequited love? What's going on anyway? People are very confused. Do you feel like this woman sometimes? Are you sometimes wondering and you just want to sort of take your head and like just rinse yourself out? You know, you just want to just say, oh gosh, let me do that. But you can't. You're just not going to be able to. So here's where I'm going to tell you pause. Okay, red light, pause, breathe. If you don't know how to breathe, you better start to learn with me, with my classes, with a private session. Why? Because you're getting to a whole new level. You wish you could say, okay, Chewie, punch in the coordinates, get me to light speed. That's not going to happen. So I want to talk a little bit about what's happening, why things are the way they are, because it's not intended to throw you off, confuse you, make you completely give up. Please don't completely give up, okay? And please don't go with the platitudes like you're almost at the edge of the mountain. There are things you need to learn and there's things you need to start practicing and doing in order to maintain yourself. And there are very highly valid reasons for it. It has to do with you being who you are, not just becoming who you came here to be. Now it's time to actually be that. What does that mean? Being means the expansion of your body. And by the way, your body is going to keep barreling this along whether you like it or not. So whether or not you say, I'm not a twin flame, or I don't identify with that, or I just, I don't know, things clicked, but somehow things aren't clicking. Let's like scale this and make it simple, okay? Here's what you need to do. The past has taken a heavy toll on your body. It's going to continue to take a heavy toll with carrying a yoke until you learn how to do things with your body and shift it. And I'm not talking about you know, like, I'm talking about stopping the space madness, okay? All of the things from your cosmic levels that now need to get alleviated, okay? That's putting it mildly. For some people, this is actually downright illness that happens to them or pre-illnesses, okay? I got to give it to you straight up because... There are people I talk to that have this. It can be emotional. It can feel like uh, emotional things, like you don't want to be here. You want to check out. You feel suicidal. So as I've said, I have helped people with that. I've helped quite a few people. I don't talk them off the ledge. We engage the body, okay? There's no talking off the ledge and convincing someone that they have to live for their children because people still do some of this. Now, how do we bring it around to the love? Where does this come from? Where does it come from? Okay. And what I also encourage you to do is how you should always, 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 always focus on your angel part. That is part of the confusion. A lot of you are trying to do things in a human way, and you're actually more than human. That's what I say, okay? You're not simply human. The things that people attribute to being human, like your spirit, that's your angel side. That is, that is not being human. Being human is a very earthy thing. 
you are that also. That is the earthy part of you. What about the other part of you? And what about the other half of you? Your love. What about them? Outer frustration. Outer frustration with the world. Men and women both feel it. So we're in this energy now where you are quite firmly closing down the old paradigm. And the pressure is on. I feel the pressure too. There's reasons for it. You can feel pressured. You can feel overwhelmed. You can ask yourself, where's the love? Or where's what I thought was going to happen? Because you thought it. But maybe you're not feeling it. And there's a difference. Maybe you don't know how to create. Maybe you're saying, where's my abundant flow? And how is this? That's a lot of people. Why is that? Because you're in a time compression. Not only are you in a time compression, star seeds are having all of their timelines collapse and close. That's a lot. And not only does it feel like pressure, okay, it takes a heavy toll on your body. I can help you get that moving within a couple of sessions. So if you were to compare, you know, what are some of the things that are heavy toll? There are people that are having things go wrong with their body as though you're driving around an old jalopy and it's like, bing, 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 something happened. And it happens with all ages. It happens with older people. It happens with teenagers. Just yesterday, I was talking to someone. She had gone to get her regular eye exam. And the nurse there was saying about how her son has developed diabetes as a teenager and has also um, signs of Graves disease, which is a kidney uh, dysfunction and disease. She was distraught, naturally. What about the love? Now, the love is all-encompassing. The only reason you are here and watching this is because you felt the higher love. Admit it. Come on, admit it. You felt the higher love, okay? But you're sitting there going, but where? Okay, it's here. It's here. So I have a little diorama here to show you something. And I want to let you know that over the past, I would say past year, the things that I've been working on with people have had a lot to do with events in Europe, particularly World War II, and getting rid of that. The lost men, particularly the ones that were killed in large battles or somehow obliterated or taken prisoner, and that's been a lot of heavy duty, high level fixing, let me tell you. It's not that people aren't doing anything. It's just that you need to learn to engage all of the sides of you so that you can and you can continue it and then you can maintain. That involves your body. So I said it very first video I ever did, you have a body inside your body. And it's the body of your twin flame. It's the body, it's the it's the higher level connection with your soul and with the person you're connected to. Not all the other connections with other people. So what do you do about this? What do you do when people have had lives where somehow large conflicts have affected you? You lose each other and it feels like unrequited love. Do you know how many times you've lost each other? or vowed to never love again, or you just couldn't, you couldn't bear the thought of someone else touching you. What about that? That's all a part of unrequited love. You may have made a resolve, but you are here to be back in love. This is the life where it's your new life. So as of the solstice, that's when you get to begin your new life. Your ascension trajectory continues. It really does. And so all of the stages and phases and things like that, they have led up to this point. You're going to find they're very much a part of the old paradigm. However, being new involves all new stuff. And how would you feel if everything was spiffy and new? 
Okay. So there's another thing that happens when I worked with people, there's certain areas of the body near the heart that have had to do with someone leading a lonely life, being an unmarried person, having to be that unmarried person, the dutiful religious girl that sacrifices and forsakes her own love to take care of elderly parents, the dutiful boy who has to hide in the closet or lead two lives because he needs to be there for other people. I mean, you've seen this depicted in stories. Tennessee Williams wrote it in a story. And what about all of the other things from other people, all of the interference, the browbeating, the expectations, the demands. And those people are not the people that you're in love with. You care for them, you love them, but where is your love? So let's bring this up a notch. We're, I'm here to raise the expectations for you. We're raising the bar on your life and how lovely it's going to be. So I knew this last year, the latter half of this year is intended to be really on the up and up for a lot of people, okay? Because it is your new life, okay? Come August, there's going to be even more you're able to put closure on. So learning how to close and seal that, that is what I teach. That is what I help people with. And, you know, when I work on people, a lot of times I get signals and I will get songs, just like a lot of you. I know people get songs, but I get songs that let me know what's being addressed from within the collective. And a lot of times I get that song, Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles. Eleanor Rigby died in, in oh, how's, how's it go? <laughs> All the lonely people, where do they all come from? All the lonely people, where do they all belong? Dun, dun. And she died and no one came and no one cared. And someone else, you know, picked up the thing and the priest, you know, he cleaned the dirt from his hands and that was it. Gone and forgotten. Okay. I am here to tell you that the latter half of this year is where you come alive. It's time to ramp up the other parts of you. You're not here for that unrequited love. You're not here to die alone and forgotten like Eleanor Rigby. I know how to remove that energetic from you. Even if it's an energetic where you say, well, I'm married, but I really can't leave because what? What is holding you, okay? I know about that, okay? I know about it. I've been helping people remove it and break free for years, okay? There's another thing about this energy. So I have a little diorama to show you because it's not all just the Eleanor Rigby energy. So join me now for Twin Flame Theater where we have... Our lovely couple, okay, we have our lovely couple here, Jack and Rose, and look where they've been on, okay? This energy is like the HMS Titanic. Now, nobody planned for it. Nobody planned for the ship to go down. So Mama Bear is here to explain a few things to you. The Titanic, brand new, spanking new. We want to push it. We want to really do something here. But what happened? A crash, okay? Now, let us focus on the young lovers. They meet. They're from two different worlds. They really like each other. She learns from him. He learns from her. But somehow, there they are, and you've got him dangling and her on this raft. The ship is going down. There's something that you need to know about your journey. You need to be able to sense when to jump off a sinking ship. That's your fourth dimension. That's anything you've been connected to. That's a lot of things that are going down. It's going down, okay? If like this, you, and maybe you can't feel, 
But I'm here to tell you, it's going down. There are things that are intended to just be let go fully, okay? You're letting go of the past of having that unrequited love and having real love. Your real love returned to you. So there they are. And she loved this man enough to go back into the sinking ship, to go and get help. When the help refused her, pushed her away, what did she do? She didn't stop, right? Because she knew this man made her feel again. He made her feel something. What did he make her feel? He made her feel love. They became lovers. He made her feel. She hadn't felt anything. She wanted to kill herself. He saved her. His love saved her. Okay? His love saved her. So what did she do? Then she went and got a tool. She went and got an ax. She like chopped them handcuffs off and she went ahead and she broke him free. She busted him out of the guts of that ship as it was filling with water. What else did they do? Okay. She's like, no, no, Jack, I'm staying with you. My mind's made up. No, Rose, save yourself. No, Jack, you can't. I don't want to live without you. That's not living. And what does he do? He's like, okay, then hang on because we are going for a ride. This ship is going down. He knew it. He knew it. They weren't letting the men on the lifeboats. This is another thing about the past. Sometimes the men haven't been safe. Sometimes they've been saving other people. Sometimes they've been like, you get out of the way. I'll take the bullet or something. Okay. Women do it too. Women have made their own sacrifices. You're the same being. Of course you've loved each other. Wait, I'll do this for you. No, wait, I'll do that for you. Right? So there they are. And everyone surfaces. Next thing they know, she's got a piece of wood to hang on to. She's hanging on to the wood. He's dangling in the water. Okay. I'm going to pause here. How many of you thought that there was enough room on that piece of wood for both of them. That's what I was like, why doesn't he just climb on, right? Okay, but you wouldn't have a tragic, wistful love story. Some of the stuff is like listening to a country song where people wallow in it. <gasps> okay, this is the life where we're fixing it. You get to have a new life. Your jack is not going down. Your twin flame is not going down with the ship or anything like that, okay? You're not resigning and settling with someone because what's gonna happen, okay? Promise me something, promise me something. Promise me you'll live. No, I don't want to. I don't want to, it's, it's not living without you. Wait, come on, climb up on here. Let's just sit. Well, okay, I'll just sit with you then. Okay, there they go, okay? Now, how does this play out in real life, okay? How does this play out in real life? Because if you are not paying attention that things are going down, things are falling apart, people are looking around. Have you ever known stories about drownings? You know what happens? People stand on other people's shoulders to do it, okay? People stand on other people's shoulders. You know what they find? When they finally find the body, they find claw marks, boot marks, marks on the shoulders that someone else was down. When people are going down, they grasp at straws. They're grabbing for things. Here's what my recommendation is. Please be with yourself. If other people are skittering around, if you are not getting the proper guidance, if it's winding up confusing you, because you're seeing it, you're seeing people start to look for the reasons why isn't something working anymore, okay? There's a big controversy with someone who does some angel stuff. Doesn't matter who's been doing the angel stuff, you're an angel. You're an angel. Time to get your angel part going.
Now, some of you know this about yourself. And some of you, I'm going to tell you, there's things that you're afraid of. Are you in the club? Of course you're in the club. You're here, aren't you? Okay, so let's get rid of some of the bunk that's being set out there. You're being discouraged and turning your back on the very thing you're here for. You're here for a brand new template, which enables you to completely ditch everything that's ever happened to you, every hurt, every pain, disease, and it happens through your body, okay? Doesn't happen through your mind, doesn't happen through a cell phone, doesn't happen through a deck of cards, doesn't happen that way, okay? Those are tools, those are divinity tools for sure, but the real meat is in your meat, it's in your body. What else can you be feeling on this, okay? What else did Rose feel? Rose felt a lot. You could see it in the actress's eyes depicting it. She had to dig into that character and say, oh my goodness, this woman lost the love of her life. She found the will to go on. She created a family, okay? I've now made Rose into a lovely woman of color, very elegant and dignified, and yes, she learned to love again, she learned to live again. But is she really living and is she really in love? Was she in love with that person she married and made children with? It was perhaps a kind of love, but not the love that transcends time and space and is the love that you wish for beyond dimensions. Not the healing love that erases all of the wounds even quicker than time. Love is faster than the speed of light. Not the love that transcends this earth where you look around and you say, God, I miss my real home, but where is that? And you look up wistfully at the stars and you say, how am I going to get there? Through your body, through your body. So if many of these things and other things are upsetting you, but we're not going to talk about it. I know what's upsetting to you for, from people, okay? I'm encouraging you, pay attention to the connections you already have that are inherent to you, that are a part of you, that are actually your angel part. How you always focus on your angel part. How do you know that you have these parts? A lot of you have known since the time you were a child. You've known about things. It was a knowing. It was your inner knowing. You know you could do certain things. I've had a lot of men say that to me. I can look at something and just scan it and I know. Why? How do they do that? You do it with your subtle bodies. That is actually what I also teach. But the body is new. It is actually brand new. And if I hadn't lived through it, I wouldn't be here telling you in full confidence and belief. Are you losing your confidence on this journey? Are you finding that you're getting discouraged? Are you finding that you're getting confused with stuff that's there? It's You are here to break out of the boxes of religion. And I know that some of this is called new age. You're here to break out of the boxes of just having people tell you stuff. You have to be able to discern stuff, okay? Because a year from now, you're going to be with your person and having fun and deepening your passion. Deepening your passion is something that your mama and your grandmama don't know about, but they might have an inkling of it. But that's what you're here for. You're not here to have the same life or same marriage. You have a divine marriage. There are things at a sacred level that you have yet to experience. So you have about a season here to be able to learn, glean, experience. How do you create your higher level activations without engaging your body? Okay, I help with that. And it goes beyond just the norm. And it's really fun and exciting. Okay, so if, if you're looking at this journey as like some kind of drudgery, please shift yourself 
and start to make a little list of the fun things you have had happen on this journey. Don't come to a crashing end here and just go wah, 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 okay? There's room for both of you. There's room for both of you on the raft that I help you to build. Let's put it that way. Whoa. Okay, so there is room. There is room at the end. This is not just for certain people. This is not just for... This is not just for people that, um, how do you put it? This is not just for people that, you know, they say, well, I'm doing this. This is where the ordinary becomes extraordinary. This is what I am teaching you to bring out of yourself because it is a natural part of you. You want to be wild and free? Start to learn how to be wild and free. You want the love and you want it to be requited or realized, culminate, converge. You want to have things, yes. Do you want to find yourself again and not get lost in this? Yes, you do. So some of the uh, fears on this journey, top fears, somehow you missed the mark. Not so. You miss your home. Earth's not your real home. How can you really live here? Okay. Yeah, for you, this may not be your main home. That's true. That's the way a lot of star seeds do feel. And these energies will affect you. They just will. Find out how to smooth it out. What if you start to get a sense that somehow you're not in that privileged club and you're looking at people on the internet and you're going, well, they're coupled up, they're coupled up, or the crap that I get sometimes. Hey, hey, Patricia. Okay, that is exactly the reason I am teaching this. I'm here to teach people who've had so much trauma and stuff how to connect themselves and how to feel the love because the only thing you can go by is your heart. And let me tell you, that is a much stronger way to learn than some of the people that are out there just giving you relationship advice. Because relationship advice does not work for your union. To a degree, it will smooth out some things within the house, not turn your kitchen into a battlefield, not turn your living room into a battlefield. But it is not going to heal all of your cosmic stuff from the past. That is what I'm bringing to the table. So I don't stand up to criticism. I'll call everyone on it and give you the reasons for it. I'm not going to fight you, okay, but nor will I let it be a cause celebrate because the real thing here to remember is you're here to make love, not war. Remember that. You're here for love. That's the only reason you were born. And if on the way you find something you really like doing that you can call your mission, that's beautiful because it is supposed to be that way. But don't put the cart before the horse. You're here for love. So come and feel the love. Come and find out. Have a session with me. Spirit chat, psyche body session. Those really get you jump started. And I give you, I give you things to do to continue the process and continue to help you open up your channels because there are things only you can do for yourself. There's certain interventions that you have to do with each other. So thanks so much for watching. I will be back with more. Look in the description below. Look on the links. Write to me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. And have a wonderful day. Okay, let's have some happy endings here. That's what I'm all about. Bye.